just looking back at uh, family and friends in our lifestyles a little bit in a couple of years ago. Uh, what we were doing was our time in Erice, Sicily. It's a beautiful hilltop region. We're visiting Erice today and we were delighted to meet Pina Parisi's daughter who carries on her mother's work of tapestry carpeting making. We had a wonderful, half-understood conversation, bought a couple of things from her shop, exchanged hugs and kisses, and Jeff sang her a song. So we thought we'd bring you back to uh, show you a little bit about Erice and our time there and how it was so important where it tied in with family because while we were in Erice, we met somebody with our family name, Parisi. So we thought we would do a little uh, video of our time today that we were able to spend with my brother and his wife and uh, the lovely hospitality and food that we shared together and be able to spend some time with my dad while, while we're able to and treasure those memories when we're gone. Hi, this is my brother TJ, the chef. <laughs> and what are you doing for us today, T? Hi, right, we're uh, doing a little butchering here. Okay. A little meat cutting, actually, technically not butchering. Okay. So we've got ourselves a nice uh, 11 pound New York strip here at Angus. Nice. Good marbling, good thing. And went to a good old restaurant depot and got the whole primal cut. Nice. Now we're just slicing up steaks so you can make them as thick or as thin as you'd like. Obviously, if you're if you're grilling, you want to be the same. Now, of course, some of you watching saw that sawing motion, and you're going to give me crap about that. I used to work as a meat cutter, <laughs> and you get crap if you saw it back and forth. You want to make it one uh, continuous cut. Ah, uh, okay. But, you know, we're at home, and it's just us. Just you can saw if you want. We can saw a little bit. <laughs> Trim on the fat cap there. Okay. And there we go. All right. Wow. Looks good. Fantastico. Nice job. Bon appetito. Okay, so what do we got here for appetizers? All right, so we got a little, you know, usual cheese plate, nothing too exciting there. Uh, shrimp. Ooh. So these are wild caught 1620 Gulf shrimp right from up the road, which is good. Um, no preservatives, no nothing, not farm, mm -hmm. not from Vietnam. So what I did was, Marinades for shrimp are always weird because again, if it goes too acidic, you start to get like a ceviche thing and yeah. So what I did was I put some olive oil on the stove and I put in garlic, you know, a bunch of garlic, a little ponzu, a little bit of hot sauce. To have one, dad, go get one. He's waiting for us to and, finish uh, talking. <laughs> mangiamo, mangiamo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to get one. <laughs> so that's just a, that's just a hot oil marinade. So the hot oil just helps everything bloom, and it makes a little more flavor. Okay, what's the ponzo? Ponzo is like a, it's a citrus flavored soy sauce. Oh, okay. It's Ooh, I think I'm gonna like that. Mm -hmm. And then just I, again, I remember a shot of lime at the end. That's all it needs. Yeah.
and friends are uh, the most important thing we have. Uh, retired, being expats and so forth, uh, we like to spend time with our family. We get, we get to spend uh, some time with them the other day, and we were very appreciative of that. Uh, my brother-in-law uh, did some cooking, and we spent some time together, some quality time, and uh, we thoroughly enjoy that. Have a great day. Live your best life ever. Ciao for now.